Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Shall we start our class? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So in today's class, we are going to see that remaining ending topics. One is ops work and the one is web server. Uh, and yeah, as I said, tomorrow we have a DevOps class. Tomorrow I'm going to share the class link today. Okay, so you can attend that class at 9.30 p.m. And after tomorrow, as I already said, we have projects. That time also I'll let you know today. Today I'll let you know. I'll send a message in WhatsApp. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, first we are going to discuss ops work. Let me show you what is ops work. Here go to services. Get ops works. Okay, just click that. Or else you can type here also. Here. So now see what they are saying here. Configuration management with Chef and Puppet. Configuration management with Chef and Puppet. So these are the DevOps tools actually. Chef, Puppet, and Sybil. These are DevOps tools. Okay. Now let me explain what it is. So when you click, when you go to that ops work here also, just click on any one option, any one option. See something they are talking about creating a chef, right? Here also chef 12, chef 11 stack. So it's all about chef. Actually, chef is one of the DevOps tools. Chef, Ansible, Puppet, out of these three, you can use any one. Anyway, chef also became a little bit old. Now everyone is using Ansible. Everyone is using Ansible. This is a DevOps tool. Um, yeah, this may, mainly for DevOps only. This is this is DevOps tool actually. So as I said, Chef became old, right? In place of that, now these DevOps engineers they are using Ansible. This ops work they have designed completely based on Chef. Completely based on Chef. That's why you might have you have seen many places they have mentioned name Chef. These are major tools in DevOps. Okay, to learn, we spend some 78 days each tool. I think, oh uh, uh, yeah. How many of you are from my seventh attempt DevOps batch? Is there anyone? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Fine. So I think, right, Ansible is going on, right, right now? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. Now, see here. Uh, let's try to understand, first of all, what is this? First of all, see, they don't ask any questions from this. In interviews because this is mainly for DevOps engineers. They ask questions from DevOps. This is just for knowledge purpose and certification purpose. This particular service. Okay. We call these tools as configuration management tools. Configuration. Management tools. We call them as configuration management tools. So, what is this configuration management? Let's try to understand. CM, also you can call CM, configuration management. Let's stop. Remove tools. 
So what is this configuration management? Simple guys. Uh, configuration means each and every minute details of your machine. That is what we call configuration. Each and every minute detail of your machine. Each and every minute details, those you call configuration. Okay. Now, like a CPU, RAM, hard disk, graphical card. Suppose if your friend purchased one laptop, you go to him and the first question you are going to ask, hey, what is the configuration? That's what you ask, right? Then he'll say, this is CPU, RAM, hard disk, all these things, correct? So each and every details, like how many users are there, how many groups are there, how many packages are there, okay? All these details we call configuration details, correct? Management means add, delete, edit. These we call management, right? Editing, edit, adding, deleting. This is what we call management. Okay. So if you do any modification, if you create a new user in your machine, that means you you manage the configuration of your machine. You install one package, that means you manage the configuration of your machine. Okay. So do you do any changes, that means you are managing the configuration of your machine. So there are two ways through which we can manage the configuration of your machine. One is manual way, and one is automated way. So who are managing configuration of your machine in a manual manner? These admins. Linux or Windows admins. They're managing configuration of a machine in a manual manner, Linux administrators. Who are managing these things in an automated manner? DevOps engineers. So to automate the process, they have to use some tools, correct? Those are, could be chef, that could be answer, that could be puppet. Like many tools are there. So they became pretty old chef puppet and now people are using hands. So here, these DevOps engineers, they are managing the configuration of a machine in an automated manner by using these tools. I'm repeating. These DevOps engineers, they are managing the configuration of a machine in an automated manner by using these tools. That's why we call them as configuration management tools. Configuration management tools. Now, how we are going to do it? What is the advantage? Simple example. I have th some thousand machines or thousand servers. In each server, I want to create some thousand user accounts. In each server, I want to install some thousand packages. In each server, I want to create 1,000 user accounts, 1,000 packages. So to do this task, each server 1,000, 1,000 means it's a biggest task. To do this task, we need n number of Linux administrators, I mean administrator, that too, they take months of time. Many admins we need, that takes months of time. But the same task can be done by one DevOps engineer within two to three minutes. One DevOps engineer within two to three minutes. So how it is happening? by using these tools. That, that is how they design these tools. So here, here also we are following a concept called IAC, infrastructure as code. So what we do here, we create a file in that we write some code to create users and to install packages. Entire code we keep in that file. Then we execute that file in all thousand nodes. So in all thousand nodes, this infrastructure will be created. Okay, we create some code and we execute that one in this one. So in all thousand nodes, infrastructure will be created. That is what converting code into infrastructure. Code to infra. That is what actually we are doing. Okay, these DevOps units are doing. Okay. 
that is so so you take any tool this is a setup that means now we don't have any openings for administrator windows linux and all because all those uh, jobs got replaced with devops one devops engineer can do devops engineer he does many tasks in that one of the tasks he is doing is this one he is replacing many teams in it industry one of the teams is administrators windows and linux administrators okay now uh, so uh, this ops work is completely based upon chef so for that you should understand the architecture of chef okay you should understand the architecture of chef what is the purpose of chef and uh, how how the architecture is simple as here in chef total there are three stages one is workstation one is server and these are nodes nodes means i told you right in my company i have thousand servers where i have to install some packages some create user accounts those are these one two three like could be any number n number node one node two like this node thousand any number of nodes okay others they may call them as servers but you should call them as nodes i mean these devops engineers they call them as nodes because here already we have one server is in in chef you are talking about chef here and we have workstation is your workstation is on ec2 instance that we use where you work that we used to work server we take from chef website chef company itself the official the, from their website we need to create one account so that you know automatic server will be created nodes also your ec2 instances so you work in one ec2 and you manage all other ec2s you write code here and you apply all nodes that is it now you need to install chef packaging your ec2 instance and each and every node in each and every node, you have to install the chef package now here so here what we do uh, we create a file i told you right we create file we write some code that file we call recipe if it is ansible that file we call playbook in chef we call this one recipe we write some code in ruby ruby script if it is ansible we use aml script but here ruby script so like this you can have any number of files any number of recipes those we keep in on folder that folder we call cookbook but there is no folder kind of concept in ansible okay okay fine i don't compare with ansible just keep that on aside so here recipe is a file where you write some code cookbook is a folder where you keep recipes in that recipes we write aml that's sorry ruby script this is where we write script you know to create users to install packages then we need to connect server workstation with server right so to connect we use a tool called knife knife is a tool that we use to connect workstation with server server with nodes okay that is all, knife attaching nodes to server we call bootstrap attaching nodes to server we call bootstrap and there is no special name to attach workstation with server attaching nodes to server we call bootstrap so whenever you buy any new machine in your company that we attach to server if you are using chef that's what bootstrapping bootstrapping happens now here what we do we upload this cookbook okay and i told that chef package we install in all nodes when you install chef package in all nodes you'll get two tools 
one is Vohai, the other one is Chef Client. Why is a kind of small database in every node? Like, so database means why contains complete information about that particular node, complete info about that particular node. Okay. Yeah. Now. So here, assume that I have written, okay, this chef client is right. The purpose of chef client is every now and then it goes to server, it tries to pull the code, it tries to pull. That's why we call it a pull mechanism. Pull. Server is not going to push any code. Chef client tool will come to server every now and then will pull that code. So how frequently that water time that you set, generally we keep 30 minutes. Every 30 minutes, chef clients from all nodes, they come and they collect code from server. Okay. That is all. So here, suppose if you create a user, suppose they have written some code to create a user. When you upload, that will be uploaded here in any one of the playbooks. I mean, sorry, recipes. Then, then here what we do, this cookbook you attach to nodes. Node one, or to node three. So here in server itself, you attach that cookbook to nodes. So when you attach, assume that I have attached this one to only two nodes, node one and node two. So chef and satellite, they come and every now and then they come and collect the data. So chef and will come and collect the code. Chef two also. But node three, chef and will come, but it will go with empty hands. Because we did not attach this code to node 3. So when you write any code, okay, that you attach to that node, so that only those nodes will come and collect the data. I mean, you need not attach one by one. We have group. We in one go we can attach all. Okay, those concepts are there. That is so. So the shaft client will come and sorry. Here, chef client will come and collect the code and see user will be created. And immediately the database will be updated, entry, entry will be updated. So that if you run this playbook again, sorry. So if you run this recipe again, this way again, chef client runs every now and then after every 30 minutes, but once user is already there, then it won't take that code again. Because before it verifies, before it pulls that code, it will verify from its database why the user is already there. If user is already there, it won't take action again. So it won't repeat the task again and again. See, no two user is, it is running, it is collecting the code, user got created, it will be updated. After 30 minutes again, it will run, it won't take that one user. So after two hours, I have written some code to install a package and I have uploaded that cookbook. Then, then notes, from both node one, I mean, chef client from both nodes, they come and collect the code. So this time only the package will be installed, only one extra thing, which is it. Then this will be updated. So if you attach this cookbook to node three also, then here also chef client will come and collect the data, user will be created, package will be installed. That, is, that means you write some code, in this P you upload that one to server, then automatically all nodes will come and collect the code. Thousands of nodes. That is so. So if he is already, task is already there, it won't repeat that task. It won't override again and again. That concept we call idempotency. Idempotency. Not repeating the same task again and again. That we call idempotency. Okay. So you need not to write these uh, uh, cookbooks recipes from the scratch. Now we have chef supermarket. From there we can get everything. See, let me show you. From, from there you'll get custom cookbooks. So you can download from there, you can, you, you can modify, you can use it.
Sure, super. For example, I want to install, I will take any, I want to install Java in all thousand nodes, Java in one go. Click that, look for Java cookbook. Yes, you can see cookbook Java. What do you do? Go inside this one. Yeah, here you download, download cookbook. Download, keep that one in your ec and workstation, modify as per your needs, upload to server and apply in all thousands of nodes. In all thousands of nodes, Java will be installed. Suppose you want to install any, any whatever tool you, whatever you want to do, just tell me, I'll tell you how to do it. I mean, the, for that, very, for each and everything we have cookbook is there. Okay, Python, yeah, for every, whatever you want to do, you can install, whatever package. Okay, like that. for that we have cookbooks are there. That's how actually it works. Okay. Uh, but compared to this one, Ansible is comparatively easy. That's why everyone, these DevOps in here, they are using Ansible. Earlier, long back, we used to we used to use Chef earlier, long back. Okay. Uh, here, see how to understand few things, guys. You have to remember these words because in exam certification, they mention these uh, words, cookbook, recipe, Ruby, workstation, knife, server, item potency, bootstrap, Wohai, chef client, supermarket, chef. So whenever you hear in that question, if you find any of these words, in that question in certification, if you find any of these words, blindly go with, blindly go with ops work. Blindly go with ops. If you find any of these words, blindly go with ops. Simple. That's it. Okay. Uh, suppose uh, in replacement of this tool. You know, they, they will never ask these questions from you because this is DevOps in this topic. This topic itself is. They they ask these questions only from DevOps. In that too, not this one. And so we'll end up here. That's it. So each tool, it takes some seven to eight days. And here we write some script. We learn script and all. Hamel script they use is the obsolete sign. So just remember whenever you see any of these words, blindly go with obsolete. Blindly. That's it. You don't even need to think about it. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That is all about ops work. Okay. Fine. Uh, yeah, one small topic is there. That is, uh, you know, how to create Windows web server. Windows web server. See, the way we created web server in Linux, in the same manner, creating web server in Windows also, it is same. You don't find many differences. Okay. So let me just show you how to create Windows web server. Just one second. Okay. So let's see how to create Windows web server. Now you log into AWS here, go to EC2. You know, right? In our, I think, first class, we launched Windows instance in our first class. Okay. Now let me uh, launch Windows instance. Launch instance. You take any Windows 2019. And select T2 micro is enough. Next, next, give any name Windows 
observer, Windows observer. Next, see, one thing that is sure that you have to open RDP. Apart from that, to access website, you have to open HTTP also. RDP is to go inside Windows Observer. HTTP is to access Windows website, website which is running in Windows Server. If you launch, if it is Linux, SH and HTTP. If it is Windows, RDP and HTTP. Let me uh, take any key pair. Anyone who oh, have one key pair is there which is existing. Let me take. Oh, let me create a new one. WinWeb means Windows Web Server. Download key pair and launch instance. Actually, it is already there. Okay, no problem. It is saying that I key pair is already there. You change the name. The security group, I think it's. Create test in web test download key pair. Now launch instance. View instances. Okay, I have launched one Windows web server. Just uh, wait for just two to three minutes. Once it is ready, then you know, right, we convert. Uh, this PEM2 password. I think you remember in our first class we have seen Windows Web Server, the first class, right? So we need to convert PEM2 password. Okay, by using that, we are going to enter into this Windows Server. So let's just give, wait for two minutes. Okay, but now you want to connect RDP client. See if you click on get password, see what they're saying. Hey, please wait for four minutes after launching instances. Okay, so we have to wait for four minutes, guys. Then only we can convert into password. Okay, okay, fine. Let's wait for four minutes, then we'll convert into password. Then we go inside instance and then we'll install web package. Okay, yeah, meanwhile, let me explain. See. Uh, the way we, in Linux we are installing HTTP, right? In Windows we call that web package called IIS. IIS package we call IIS. So this package will be there. Will be there in your Windows instance. Already there in a downloaded state. Download it. Only thing is that you have to install it. You have to install. So what we'll do now, we'll go inside Windows instance, then we are going to install that IS package, which is existing. Yeah, that's all. Then we'll create file, we'll put some content and all then. That is how actually we do. Okay, remember IIS package, we call it. Windows Web Server package. I'm not ready yet. Let's wait for two minutes.
Okay, now. So here we have to upload password. I mean that uh, PEM file, win web test. Upload and we need to convert into password. This, these things already, you know, we already we did these things in first classes. Then we have to download a more desktop file. Uh, let me delete the things which are existing. Yeah. So let's download a more desktop file. And here copy password. I'll just run it. Right now, click on connect. Yeah, that's it. No, just paste this password. I know. Okay. Yes, that's some security certificate they are asking us. Yes. Now, where are we now? We are inside Windows web server. Correct. We are inside Windows Web Server. Now here, this we are going to convert into, I mean, this is just Windows Server. This we are going to convert into Web Server. So for this, what you have to do here, you can see search option here, click that search. Here you type server manager, server. Okay, you can see server manager, go to that. So what we are going to do from server manager, we are going to install that IIS package. Okay. Now here you can see add roles and features. Click that. Here inventory the wizard will be available after data collection. Just wait for one or two minutes and it will be ready. Yeah, now, now here, uh, yeah, same thing. Here, need not to change anything. Click here next. Role based to features based installation. Keep it like that. Don't, don't do anything, just click next. Then, here also, don't do anything, just click next. Yeah, server based, yeah, everything is good. Say so next. Then here you can see IIS will be there. IIS. Okay. Web server. I'm sorry. Let me go one step back. Achha, sorry, in this one step back here, you can see Windows Web Server. I'm, I'm showing again. See, if you go back, okay. these are so you understood till here, right? Click next. Now, here you can see Web Server IS. Just one click, click that Web Server IS. Click that. That's it. Add features. Then next. Then oh, you need not select any of these things. Okay, next. Next. Yeah, that's it. Next. Okay, then install. That's it. So only thing is that we have we have enabled by here. That means we are installing. See here, that's how you can see starting installation. Features installation. Installation started. IAS. Let's wait. Once it is ready, then we can proceed.
Yeah, once it is ready, then click here, close. That's it, over. Now simple guys, it's very easy. Just go there, go to File Explorer here. Here you can see this PC, go to C drive. After installing that IAS server, then here you will get one folder called init inet pub. You can see inet pub. In that you'll find one folder called triple w root triple w root in that you delete all unnecessary files which are there okay so not required let me create one file in my desktop or anywhere let me know uh, i can simply copy and paste also create any file index i'm giving index in that i'm going to mention my group my Google. This is what I have mentioned. Now what I do, let me save this one here. Save as. Uh, all files. Here you give as extension as .html. .html. Now save. So that will be saved as HTML. That's it. You delete. So these are index.html files. Now you can simply copy and paste here, that file, which is there in your desktop, just here copy and here paste, that's it, done, that's it, index, that is HTML file, now, that's it, over, over, so what do you do, you take this instance IP address, or DNS name, see here, instance IP address, and paste in your browser, enter, what is this? That's it. That's what your web server. Simple. As simple as that. Same thing as just we need to install web package. IS. When you install automatically, service will run automatically. Just in that folder, inet pub, in that triple w root folder, you need to create one file. You need to put some content. Whatever content you put there that you can see here. Okay. As simple, simple. That is how we create Windows web server. Got it? Yes, please respond. You understood everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just, just yes, practice sir. once. Yes, sir. Just, just practice once. Okay. Yeah, that's it for today. Any anything, any queries, anything from your side? Uh, yes, sir. In chef. Yeah, please. Uh, sir, please open that uh, white whiteboard. Yeah. Sir, you have mentioned that uh, for attaching server to the nodes, we hmm. use bootstrap. No, no, the attaching, the concept we call bootstrap. Sir, then uh, a knife is written on, on the straight line uh, between see, server. See, attaching, we call bootstrap. Mm -hmm. For that bootstrap purpose, we use a tool called knife. Got it? Uh, hello, sir. Yes, this sir. why is uh, dependencies for chip plan? Go ahead. I didn't. I didn't get you. Come again. Why? Why you told? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, it's not dependency. It is just a storage, mini okay. database. It contains updated information about that particular node. Okay. So hello, it is sir. mandatory in chip. Like. Yeah, that is so. Yeah, those are those you, you get by default. Hello, sir. Yes, please. Sir, if we if I want to install Python package uh, in all the nodes, then uh, what we have to do? Uh, like, uh, 
we have to download the script uh, into the workstation yes that you have to upload to server upload to then server automatically notes will come and collect the data but we have to attach all notes to server yes or that we do only once only that by the time you know so that setup will be there already that servers all attached to you know notes attached to server that setup will be already there okay so only thing is that you need to upload and you need to that's by the time these drops in they go by the time that setup would have already been there that is then that the, to one time effort only then the chef client will automatically uh, fetch the file from the server yes yes correct uh, uh, by once once if at all in each after every 30 minutes it runs after every i mean whatever time you said so if at all any changes in that package or file or user something then it will it will bring those changes if no changes are there, then it won't take any oh, action oh. Okay. oh okay sir okay yeah. thank you okay sir it is will uh, like ansible only we will uh, give ssh key not like uh, that. Uh, no not like that because the ansible is a bit different right in yes. Ansible, first of all, you don't install uh, that Ansible package in Nodes, correct or not? Yes, yes. But here we use. Why? Well, because we need this one. But why we don't use and install Ansible in Nodes? Because already we are getting SH client. Yes, sir. So, but here we don't use SH. That's why after installing Chef, we'll get, you know, Chef client and knife, these tools. Okay. So what I, uh, I think day before yesterday that the servers will be down, right? That WhatsApp and Facebook. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? I, I didn't go through that one. I didn't know what actually happened. I didn't even go through that video. Sir, so, I think the DNS name got changed. Yeah, someone mentioned the DNS issues and all. And, uh, but uh, this official uh, the Facebook, I think they mentioned something, you know, uh, some you know, configuration changes, something. No, no, not. I did not actually go through that video, actually, what went wrong. The root got changed, actually. Achha, okay, might be, might be. Just I, I have seen in a, in a um, uh, while LinkedIn CEO blog. Mm -hmm. I read, it is given, it is mentioned that uh, the DNS name got changed and the root got changed. So, okay. so all the server got uh, not not uh, accessible from the users. Okay, okay, might be, might be. That's okay. Yeah, that happens. That's uh, no. Long time will be there. We are not gods, right? Like anything may happen at any time. Okay. Yes. Sir. So last time YouTube also went down right, for a couple of uh, hours. That time also I knew that time I was uh, trying that YouTube, but it was uh, showing not Excel. I thought, you know, problem is with my internet. So, but remaining things were uh, working. I restarted two to three times there also. Later on, you know, after that, uh, you know, that became viral and uh, you know, that, that's it happens many times. Okay. Fine, guys. Uh, uh, hello, yeah, sir. Yes, please, go ahead. Uh, sir, um, my, my question from yesterday's class only. Yeah. Uh, when I open a cl cloud watch, mm -hmm. uh, then billing, billing section, uh, I I did not get uh, same, uh, same option like you. Oh, yeah, yes, for sir. that. No, no, you have to go to North Virginia. Billing section is I, not there. Uh, sir, I uh, change region also. North Virginia? Uh, yes. yes, sir. It is not coming actually. I tried. I yeah. have to... Same here, sir. Yeah. That means they might have changed it. <laughs> so every now and then they modify all these. That's the problem. Let me verify. Cloud watch. Uh, I think when you are trying, it is coming, but uh, when you are trying, it is not coming. Yeah, are you, you are not seeing this one? Uh, yeah, 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 I clicked I am seeing one, this one, one sir. Uh, if you click that, then... Uh, Just click the alarm, create alarm, sir. It is not billing, coming. Billing? Uh, billing. Uh, billing. 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 Okay. Create alarm. Huh. Create Top alarm. one, if you click, it is not coming. Oh. Now See, you will select it. Huh. Next. No, 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 select me, okay. select me. Oh. Uh, it is not coming down. Here, uh, yeah. here, here you have to scroll down. No, uh, sir, I, I scroll down. Uh, uh, there but is, it is uh, not there... coming for us, sir. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is not coming for us. 
there is only two option they give uh, log and uh, uh, i i'm not the one of matrix. the yes, the that logs and matrix oh uh, yeah uh -huh. if you are ready you can share your screen so your you... account is not free tier so it is something like this no no not like that uh, let me verify uh, do you have a no uh, is there anyone ready with their screens uh, sir right now i'm not okay uh, do one thing okay no problem you do one thing you take a screenshot and share that one directly to me here okay I'll, sir i'll verify and let you know okay 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 guys uh, thank you uh, tomorrow yes i'll share the link tomorrow evening 9:30 pm okay okay thank thank you all thank you bye bye have a nice sir. day thank you thank you sir thank you thank you sir thank you